Hi, I'm Chuck from Vosays Digital, and it is my pleasure to announce some great new features to Vosays that will make using our platform easier and more intuitive than ever. And we've listened to your feedback and your requests, and we have incorporated the features and changes you asked for most, including an easier way to communicate with your students, more customization options with the curriculum, and a more streamlined user interface. The end result is a system that was built by teachers for teachers. This is your VOSES. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of all the changes and updates we've made. Whether you're new to VOSES or you've been using it daily in your classroom, there's something here for everyone. Now if you would like a more in-depth personal walkthrough, give us a call at 1-800-848-0256 and we will schedule a guided tour absolutely free. Alright, let's get started. This is the new Vosays navigation bar. If you've used Vosays before, most of this should look pretty familiar to you, but we've made a few changes. First, the new Vosays Notes lets students and teachers take notes on any page in Vosays and then return to them later to review, edit, or delete, no matter where you are in the curriculum. Just click on the Notes icon, click New Vosays Notes, and then type a quick note. Click on View Notes to view all of your notes in their corresponding chapters. Notes are organized with your most recent notes first. This new icon is where you will find the Communications tool. Click it and you will see two more icons. The email icon should be familiar to our Vosays users and it operates exactly the same. A great tool for sending messages to individual students or to your entire classroom. For even broader communication options and tons of creative potential in and outside of class, we proudly introduce the Vosays Community Forum. An internet forum, or message board, is an online discussion site where people can hold conversations in the form of posted messages. Once you click on the Vosays community icon, you have two choices on where to go. The first is the Teacher to Teacher Forum, which allows you, the teacher, to communicate with other educators who are also using Vosays. You can start new conversations or get involved in existing conversations, you can share ideas, ask questions, and get feedback. You can discover how others are using Vosays and share with them the unique ways in which you are using Vosays. It's all up to you, but the Vosays Community Forum is there, bringing all of our users together as a community that supports one another. The second option is the Teacher to Student Forum. This is a message board for you and your students, not the teachers. This is a place to have open discussions and conversations with your class, in class and out. It begins with a topic that you create. Give your post a title, provide a quick question or a prompt, and then select which classes can see your post. When you're ready, click Submit. Now your students can see and respond to your posts in real time. They can respond to each other, and together, you can all engage in an online conversation. Please note that students cannot create new forum topics. They can only read and respond to topics you've created in which you allow them access to. This prevents the forum from going off topic and gives you control over the direction of the conversations on your forum. The biggest change we've made to our Vosays digital interface is the new teacher's panel. We've streamlined things by combining the teacher controls with the layout of the title you're using. Clicking the Teacher's Panel icon reveals a new set of menu options. Most of these are the same features you're familiar with, but quicker and easier to access and use. Let's start with Class and Student Management. Here, all of your classes are listed in alphabetical order. To create a new class, simply click on New Class. Give your class a name and click Create. That's it! You can rename or delete with these icons here.
To add students to your class, first select which class you want to add students to. Then click on View Students. From here you can click on Quick Add to add students individually. Hitting Enter or Return on your keyboard will quickly add your entry to the student list. Do you want to add a lot of students quickly? You can upload your own database file by clicking on CSV Add. Simply follow the on-screen wizard. Clicking on a student here reveals options for that student. Clicking Edit will allow you to update the student's information including their first and last name, their username, and what class the student is in. Clicking on the usage log will show you the last 20 pages that student has viewed and when they were viewed. Clicking Delete will permanently remove that student's information. The next icon in our teacher's panel is Grading and Results. Clicking this will open up a page with a list of all your classes and a number next to each one. That number is how many activities are waiting to be graded. Click on the class name to see a list of activities and then click on the activity to see the student's results. Clicking the X or check mark will mark the answer right or wrong, then just press save. As you grade the activities, they will be removed from this list. On the left of this screen you will see two additional page icons. Activity results will let you view the student's results for any and all pages. The first thing you will want to do here along the top is to click on the classes that you want to see the results for. Then expand the chapters, subchapters, and pages by clicking on them in the menu structure below. Once you see your students' names, you can click on them to see the activity results, change their grades, and leave notes. The last option here is the gradebook. This works exactly the same as before. Select your chapters, classes, and options, and then press the Generate button. Next, let's take a look at the Vosays Library. From here, you can access every video from the title you're in. The videos are divided into categories, and each video displays the chapter it's from as well as the approximate length of the video. Simply click on the one you want to view, and you will be instantly taken to that page. Clicking on Additional Resources allows you to download help files as well as any other materials that are available for the title that you're in. This material will vary from title to title. Here, the Vosays tutorials provide helpful videos and other guides for navigating through the Vosays digital platform. New videos are added regularly, so check back often for hints and guides to help you become an expert with Vosays. In Account Settings, you can update your email address, change your class ID, or your user ID. This section at the top shows you how many days remain in your current subscription, with an option to renew at any time. You can also renew your account at any time by calling 1-800-848-0256. Here at the bottom is where you can enable the student self-registration. Student self-registration is an account option that affects all of your classrooms. Finally, we have the Vosays Editor our most exciting feature. A replacement to our old Teacher Built Pages interface, this new editor does so much more and simplifies and improves many of the options and features you use most. With the Vosays editor, you can move pages from one location to any other location seamlessly. You can turn pages off so students can't see them, only you. You can even remove pages, sections, or even whole chapters completely. What's more is that the Vosays editor gives you the power to add anything you would like to the existing framework. You can add quizzes that automatically grade and fit seamlessly into the existing curriculum. You can add vocabulary with audio, whole lessons, entire tests, anything you want. 
and students won't know the difference between the VOSES curriculum and the material you've added. Now of course with so much power comes a lot of choices and many options. We have a separate video that goes in depth on the VOSES editor for those teachers who want to learn more. But for those of you who are just curious, follow along with me right here. To begin, you are editing the teacher menu. This means that all of your classes will see the changes you've made. You can have separate menus for each class, but that's a topic for another video. Here you'll see every chapter listed. Clicking on a chapter reveals the subchapters and pages within that chapter, along with a group of options. You can rename any chapter or page. Rearrange chapters, subchapters, and pages by moving them up and down. Move a page out of a chapter. Turn chapters and pages into teacher-only pages so that they do not show up on the student logins, but still do show up on yours. You can disable it completely so it does not show up at all. Or you can even delete it entirely. To add a new page within a chapter, first click on which chapter you'd like the new page to be in. Then here at the bottom, click on Link Content, Create New Page, and then click Link. This will open the Activity Creator. Give your new page a name. Decide if this new page is going to be a standard activity or if it'll be a recording activity where students can record their voices. You need to make this distinction now at the start of creation as these two styles of pages are very different. Then click on Create Page. Here in the Activity Creator is where you will create your new page. It's built in sections, like layers. Click on Create a new section to begin. Decide what type of section this is going to be from the drop-down menu. Change or update any options you want for this page, and then click Create Section. You can now add this section, add copy, images, links, questions, or whatever you want this section to be. By stacking sections, you can build more complex pages. For example, you can start with a section that contains copy, like a header or instructions, then a second section with a video, a third section with multiple choice questions, and so forth. Did you make a mistake and need to start all over? Clicking Reset will undo all of your edits and changes and return your title to its original default settings. Even pages you deleted will be back. Now you can start editing again, customizing the title the way that you want it to be. Back in the title content, you can switch between your edited title and the VOSE's default title simply by clicking here on this drop-down menu. These new customization options give you greater control over the content of your title, making VOSE's an authentic resource tool and curriculum that conforms to your style of teaching. For a more in-depth look into our VOSES editor, check out our VOSES editor video tutorial or call us at 1-800-848-0256 to schedule a hands-on guided tour of all the new features of VOSES Digital. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.